So you're looking to buy or build a new PC and you're looking for it to support creative VFX workflows in Unreal Engine, Blender, Houdini, whatever. I'm gonna show you the PC that I just built two days ago. It's got the RTX 5090 in it, which I'm, I'm freaking stoked about. Also, I'm gonna show you the PC that I've been rocking with for the last four years. So you can see it's, it's not all about the hardware. It's really about learning how to optimize. You can do Unreal Engine on a Mac or a older PC with dated hardware. Sometimes it's even better because you learn how to optimize so that you aren't pushing your new PC components to full throttle and your whole pipeline is just way more efficient. So let's take a look. All right, so this is the PC that I built a couple days ago, upgraded from my previous one, which I'll show you after. Get powered on real quick. So we got the MSI X870E godlike motherboard, uh, which is awesome. It's got really fast response with every lane to the RAM. Um, it's got five M2 SSD storage slots, which is great. Don't have to worry about storage. The AIO is from NZXT. This is the Kraken Elite 360. You can see the fans up there. And we got another matching NZXT fan in the back. And we have an RTX 5090 by NVIDIA. This thing is a beast because it has 32 gigs of VRAM. I don't care what anyone says about the 50 series. We have yet to see a NVIDIA consumer GPU that has 32 gigs of VRAM. So in Unreal Engine, you don't have to worry about pool sizes, streaming pool sizes. It's the Little Mermaid right now, okay? My, my GF likes mermaids, so I did this to try to justify the cost of, uh, of buying this. But anyways, um, so you can see like it idles temperature around like 50 degrees Celsius on the CPU. But this is the build, guys. We got the Fractal Design North case, and you're familiar with this case if you watch William Fauscher's Unreal Engine videos, because I just thought I just thought it was cool, and um, I had to get it. And also, I needed something the North XL to fit this GPU, and also make sure that I can have three radiator fans up top. The reason I have four sticks of DDR5 RAM, G Skills Trident Z5, and 32 gigs per stick, they are running at about 1600 millihertz each and that's the most that I can pull currently. It's not really stable. It, it was hard to even get it to work in the first place. Um, I had to do a lot of work in the BIOS to get this running with even one of the best motherboards on the market. I wanted to get at least 128 gigabytes for when I'm caching simulations in Houdini. So when I'm running other things for a different project like just Unreal Engine and Blender, I'll probably yank out two of those sticks and just run it with 64 gigs of RAM because both of those programs rely a lot more on the GPU and obviously the 5090 is more than enough to get that done. So this is excessive, but this is something you wanna to work towards as a reliable build uh, just to make things happen in the 3D space. So on a more budget friendly note, this is the PC that I've gotten everything done with this far in my career. This is an RTX 3090 and we got the Fractal Design AIO back there, Corsair Dominators for the RAM, and again, an MSI motherboard. This thing's definitely dusty and old, and I'm glad I grew out of it, but I will say the 3090s are not obsolete yet for Unreal Engine. You can still get really good results. This one's got 24 gigs of VRAM, which is enough for most purposes with Unreal Engine. Now this one's a 1000 watt power supply and the one that I put in this new PC is actually 1500 watts. So I don't have to worry about, you know, my PC shutting off when I get into overclocking because currently I'm overclocking my CPU by a decent amount. I'm definitely pushing the limits. And the last thing you want to deal with is your computer shutting down continuously because you're just don't have enough power actually go into your components. This is a monitor I picked up on Black Friday and it's a Samsung G9. It's got like 240 hertz native refresh rate, which is great. I can't get this PC to actually run that, but that's what it's boasting and bragging. Sorry, my desk is a mess. It's just, we're, we're artists, dude. Like this is, this is how it gets sometimes. I'm not gonna be one of those people that pretends I'm all fancy because I got like this cool desk set up, but this, uh, this Samsung G9 is great because I can set up, you know, one window here on the right side, one on the left. I don't need a dual monitor. It eliminates that need and it lets me just like, you know, watch a tutorial on one screen or work on file management on one screen or throw a panel from a program onto the left and then work on the right. So it's definitely uh, 
been paying off to have like a super super wide whatever this is like 49 inch monitor um you know really good clarity just helps me make more creative decisions without having to continuously switch window to window and i just want to point out you don't really need a setup that costs six thousand or whatever dollars to you know do creative things like this just enables you to make more creative decisions faster you don't necessarily need the newest graphics card. You just need to know how to optimize and you'll do well.